Right. <laughs> this is a camera, uh, this is a, ca sorry, a photograph of a friend of mine and myself. We were just across the Sinai Desert. Now, I will point to what I'm going to talk about. You won't see it, but I'll point to the there. A little spot there is the hilt of a sheath knife. Now, this was given, we each had one. They were given to us by a very nice gentleman in Durban, where we stopped on the way round in the Middle East in 42. Uh, he said, would you like one of these? We have one each. Now, uh, surprisingly, although they give you weapons to, to fight with, we're not meant to take a knife into action. They said the Germans didn't like it. As Corporal Jones says, they don't like it up on. Anyway, um, I had this thing and continued to wear it in my sock top. In Italy, the first town we encountered after the invasion of Salerno was at Battapaglia, and in a skirmish, one of our young officers, a, a very, uh, a very good family man, he was the master of, of a family in Scotland, which means he was the eldest son. He was held in high regard, and it was intended that we get him back again. Well, now you can't just go blundering into the headquarters of a, of a German unit. Uh, you probably get eliminated anyway. So we had to make a patrol up and go in very, very quietly. No noise, no naughty weapons. Uh, however, it was quite obviously it was going to be guarded with sentries. And I knew where one was that was guarding the house where he had been taken. It had been indicated to us by some German, by some Italian civilians. And I needed to eliminate him. Well, there was a good way of doing it. I crept up behind him, my left hand over his, the top of his helmet, pulled his head back to reveal his throat and plunged my sheath knife into the side of his neck, cutting his jugular vein. It made an awful lot of blood, but it means that we had eliminated him and could get in among the rest and rescue our young officer. And it all was successful. We got out as quickly as we could. But that was the one and only time I ever did such a thing. When you kill someone with a knife, you're up against him and you can smell him. It's much better to stand back and shoot him from a distance. As demonstrated on the uh, Temple of Doom thing, when the chap was swinging his sword about and there's the fellow who takes out a gun and goes bang. Much safer to do it from a distance, but nevertheless it was effective.